The Discovery Channel is recognized for creating popular reality series, with Deadliest Catch being one of the most popular shows based on the real life of crab hunters. The show has given us a sneak peek into the lives of those who put their safety and security on the line. In the vast ocean, the vessels always pose a risk from the challenging environment. One of the boats frequently encountering some complications is Summer Bay. So today, we'll give you an update on what happened to Summer Bay. Enjoy the video and a gentle reminder for your support. Click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get all the entertainment updates from our channel. After decades of working as a captain for other boat owners, Wild Bill Rachowski brought his own yacht, the Summer Bay, fulfilling his lifelong dream. But a lot of challenges lie ahead for the captain and his crew in their journey. Bill and his crew's commitment was put to the test in season 14, when deckhand Spencer Moore had two near-death experiences, one when he fell off the boat into the Bering Sea. So let's not waste time and move on to see what Summer Bay has to face off this time. The boat went dark in Chilling Sea. Captain Wild Bill returns to the best indications of life in the rolling seas, hoping to catch his final 12,000 pounds of crab before moving on to the Bairdy fishery. Instantly, the alarm goes off as electricity goes out across the deck. The situation on the boat appears to be extremely perilous, and no one appears to have control of it. Without power, the summer bay is a sitting duck, vulnerable to the Bering Sea's mounting breaker and ripping tides. Now they are at the mercy of the ocean. The captain instructs his team to start the generator as soon as possible, and one of the crew members has to wait for the fire to reach 1800 degrees before turning it on. They were able to restore electricity through their generator, but they were unable to determine what had gone wrong with the prior one. It would also be a lesson for the crews of Summer Bay, since if Bill isn't on board, who else would assist them with solving the problem? They'll have to figure it out on their own. They reportedly encountered a problem with the port generator's timing sensor. The team was finally able to repair a $10 wire in the generator that had been worn down by friction, and they were ready to begin their load back. Finally, a collision. It was pretty darn windy, 71 miles southwest of St. Paul Harbor, Alaska, with dangerous wind gusts. To get his 86 pots on board, Captain Harley of Southern Wind must place his crane near the dock. But Captain Bill Summer Bay was already stationed at the dock, but in an unusual location. Captain Harley tries to connect with Wild Bill, the captain of Summer Bay, but couldn't connect with him. Soon after, Wild Bill was returning to its previous spot, but Harley's boat, the Southern Wind, was also on the move. But there was a miscommunication between the captains of the two vessels. Then, a collision happened between Southern Wind and Summer Bay. The collision of the boats, according to Captain Harley, was entirely caused by the wind. Luckily, no big damages were seen, but Summer Bay had a bump and dent on its backside. Wild Bill's face says it all, but there is nothing anyone can do about these situations. So, that's the end of the video. Will we see more drama on the deadliest catch? Let us know what you think in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more updates on your favorite reality stars.